what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Michael Jordan is concerned that a documentary entitled The Last Dance about his, his teammates, and his coach Phil Jackson's last season with the Chicago Bulls is going to make him look bad. I'll tell you straight out the gate, fam, how I feel about this. Michael Jordan doesn't need any help making himself look bad. He's quite capable of doing it all by himself. You see, Mike has a sordid history of being an a-hole. It's well documented by many, many, many people from all walks of life. I'm talking about from fans to players, to coaches, to casual observers, to people who have ran into him by chance. I mean, the dude just has a number of incidents where people say this dude is a supreme a-hole. Now, you can't tell Michael Jordan fans anything because all they care about is winning. Hey, as long as he's Michael Jordan and he keep making them damn uh, sneakers, or at least keep endorsing those sneakers, you can't say anything bad about Michael Jordan. See, that's the problem with American society. We look at how successful a person is and we judge that person's character by how successful they are. They can be the biggest a-hole in the world. As long as they're good at what they do or they got a lot of money, Oh man, that person is good with us. And we wonder why society is going straight to hell in a handbasket. Now, I can see being tough in your work environment. Sometimes you got to be an a-hole to get the best out of your people that you're working with. The problem with Jordan is that he was also an a-hole outside of his job. See, what you do on the court is one thing, but he has a reputation for being an a-hole when he's off the court. That's how you know it's real. So he can't just say, well, you know, I was just trying to get the best out of them. I was trying to get the best out of them. Okay. I get it because it's very hard to get a type talent or a effort from D people. I get it. But this dude has a reputation for being an a-hole. After Chameleon has shared what he did to him, and you can look it up, i like, whoa, man, that's cold-blooded. And I believe Chameleon because Chameleon is a straight-up dude. He's always been solid. So I have no reason to not believe him because he don't even have a history of doing things like that, you know, lying and chunking himself. He, he don't have that type of history, but Jordan do. Jordan has a history for being an a-hole. So I would be inclined to believe Chameleon and all the other people I've heard from that says this dude is an a-hole. The problem with that is that he can get away with stuff like that is because it's so many people that just want to be around him, they will accept that. Not just people who are fans. A lot of times, your own family members will accept you being an a-hole. Like, somehow, you know, when you poop, it don't stink. I'll share a quick story with y'all. Many years ago, my big brother Maine and I were having a conversation in his backyard. And he told me about a mistake that I had made that I could have corrected had he interjected. I said, man, why you didn't tell me? He said, man, I figured you really did. You got money. You ain't gonna listen to me. Who am I? I said, my big brother, my friend, the dude who I slept in the same bed with until we was 14 and 15 years old. It blew my mind that the dude who I grew up with, who knew me longer than I knew myself, felt that way about me. And I had to give him permission to check me. 
pull my coattail if he felt that I was out of pocket. And we've been on point since. But man, I just never wanted to be that type of person who had people around me that would see me doing something reckless and not pull my coattail. I don't like that. I'm like, man, if you love me, if you care about me for real, check me when I'm wrong. Let me know. Because I can't really consider myself a friend or somebody that really care about somebody and see them doing something wrong, doing something that is detrimental to their progress and not say anything about it, not speak on it. I'm not built like that. But a lot of these guys are. I don't have to name the names of people who are not with us anymore who had yes people around them or, or who enabled them. And that's the type of dude Jordan is. Those are the type of people that are around him. Because if you say something and check him or buy something reckless, you might not be around too long. You dig what I'm saying? But back to the original thing that I said from the jump, Jordan don't need any help making himself look bad. Pippin either. No more talk. What the haters talking about?